Good. New tonight, one of Sacramento's most popular tourist attractions. About to get a little more colorful. New public artwork will soon be making a splash along the riverfront. So what will it look like while well, we went to the artist to ask? I really hope that there's a kind of wellspring of love around this project. UK-based artist Joshua Sofair has a vision for the Sacramento and West Sac waterfront. There's this river that sits between those two cities, but it also joins them. And this project is really about trying to get the two cities celebrating the people that live there. The artist, who's had exhibits in London, Stockholm, and the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art, has been chosen to create new public art that ties the two river towns together. His pitch is to put up giant light boxes along the docks on both sides of the river with colorful maritime signal flags. And each of those graphic representations is a letter of the alphabet. Those letters would spell out someone's name, but whose? Members of the public will be invited to nominate someone that they care for or someone that they respect or someone that they love. And I hope that they'll be attracted by the idea that these public spaces are named after ordinary people just like them. Some think it's a bright idea. I'd love to see my name in lights. I always think of myself as uh, a colorful guy. I like to see I my would name love on that. that. Yeah, that'd be I awesome. Like An idea for new art art in Old Sack, one that could make the riverfront a little more lively. The hope of this project is that people will want to come down here more and use it as a promenade. Imagine you're... Sure. Yeah, there you go. Tony. Yeah. yeah. Sure <laughs> Joshua is now trying to work out all the technical details and funding for the project comes from a $125,000 grant from the National Endowment for the Arts. Just so you won't feel left out, Bender. <laughs> the cities are hoping to launch the public name nomination process sometime in May.